Hey guys, this is Satya. Hope you all are doing well today. Today in our Excel tips, we are going to learn about a new function called isNA. Now let's see what is this isNA function. What does it do? This function tests a cell to determine whether it contains the non-available error, that is hash NYA. The hash NA is generated when a function cannot work properly because of the missing data. The hash NA can also be typed into a cell by the user to indicate the cell is currently empty, but it will, used, it will be used for data entry in the future. The function is normally used with other functions such as if function and the syntax for the is any function would be is equal to isna open bracket cell to test close the bracket and enter. Now let's see how this particular function is going to use. Now we have a sample data wherein I have the data mentioned in one column and the test to be done in the other column. This we can mention it as test. Now let's see how this particular function works. Now if I want to go ahead and identify how many are the hash NA errors in this particular data, if I want to go ahead and select each and every data and count each and every data, it is a huge task. If it is a small data that can be easily worked upon, but if it is a huge data and if you want to go ahead and count the hash NA and identify the hash NA, it is a very difficult task. So in order to reduce the work, what we can simply do is, you can simply type it as is equal to is NA open bracket, select the data, close the bracket and enter. And if you do this, and if you do a copy paste, you will be able to easily identify which cell or which data, which column is filled with the data and which column is filled with hash NA. In this way, we will be able to identify the number of hash NAs in that particular data. So if you see here, the first row, it is mentioned as 5, which is false. Then it is high, which is an alphabet, which is false. Then a date, then a blank. Everything is coming as false over here. And for hash NA, it is coming as true. So in this way, you will be able to identify the number of hash NAs in a specific data if it is a huge data. I hope you have loved this particular video and watched this particular video and learned something about this particular function called isNA. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like our channel as well. Post your valuable comments as well. Thank you.